Good morning. That sun is bright this morning. It's a nice balmy 40 degrees out this morning. Good morning, girls. You're filling up that tote pretty well there. Nice and long. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. It's amazing how fast they grow. That's the meat bird's food, not your food. One of the things I love about where we live is it's 40 degrees up right now. It's nice and chilly. But it's gonna be in the 70s today for a high. But it's nice to be able to wake up and be like, brr, I'm cold, put a sweatshirt on, wear some shorts, and it just feels nice. Rufus. The meat birds are doing awesome and they're growing great. These are Freedom Ranger meat birds. And in this tractor we have our new egg layer group. The red ones are no virgins and the other colored ones are our Easter egg layers. And they'll be laying some like bluish green eggs for us. And we have one rooster which will go in the crock pot. I've been working on our goat milk instantion. We got it all built and I'm trying to think about what I want to finish it with. And we're gonna to go to our, what we always trust and use is tongue oil and mineral spirits.
we ended up losing one of the turkeys. We don't know why. They're all doing great ever since we've had them. Gina last night was like, hey, I think one of the turkeys dead. I'm like, what? I was just down there and they were all fine. So keep our fingers crossed that we don't lose any more. I only wanted two turkeys and I got four because I know turkeys can be very finicky when you're raising them as babies. And then once they get bigger and feathered out, they're very hardy. It's just at this stage, they're not, which is odd. I had to pick up some grain while I was out today. Afternoon, girls. You getting a good nap in? What are you doing? What? Yeah. What are you doing, mister? You keeping an eye on the kid? You keeping an eye on the chickens? You're a crazy dog. Nope, we're not going over there. When I'm working with an oil finish, I like to store everything outside and in a sealed bag afterwards. Believe it or not, when I apply oil finishes to furniture when I work with the furniture company, I have seen spontaneous combustion on oil silk rags that were outside in a bucket and the bucket was in the sun. They get so hot and they just start on fire. Gina made a nice, delicious meatloaf yesterday that I just need to put into the oven and bake it for dinner tonight. It's made with ground pork from our pigs that we've raised this winter. And yes, it's got a ketchup topping. She told me I should have stayed on the bus. She was your bus driver? Yeah. No, it's Daniel's. Uh oh. Not Chris. Why are you going to bus on your own? Huh? Daddy, you know when Chris is driving the bus? Um, they had to go to a better place. 
Because Tammy said that, oh, I don't get it. Because Tammy said that, um, yeah, it was bus 81. Yeah, because Tammy said that. This was Thanks for coming out and joining us today, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading. So, you should see you soon. Bye. Bye.